See, see, that's where you have to feel the vibe. You have to know that you know. You have to recognize that these dreams that you have subliminally are there to attack the uncomfortable growth that should take place when you tap into what it is you're trying to pursue. So, for instance, if you have a fear, but yet you want to go to college um, and you've had everyone around you say you can't do it because, you know, no one has ever gone to college and the family and this is not what we do. We do this. We do that. That's where you tap into that inner strength and that inner strength will then pro- promote you to see beyond the fear that the subliminal seed was planted. Does that un- does that make sense? In your heart space, you're going to find what it takes to move forward. Um, and, you know, sometimes we can move forward and be so unaware or unsure about the process until it takes us a little bit more time to push it into existence, um, whether it's a move, a relationship, um, you know, separation, whether it is a single parent, you know, supporting a child and watching that child grow and investing in that child, whether it's a business, whether it's the opportunity to help nurture the family, to organize the structure of the household, whatever the equation is, you have the opportunity to grow within that moment. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, where we discuss the highs and the lows of business and business development and how this leadership builds within our lifestyle, within who we are, and we wear and carry this um, we carry this armor with us at all times. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Dr. Darina Shine, and you are listening to a recorded podcast that took place, um, and we are just going over some of the pointers that I want my Shining Entrepreneurs to recognize this October 17th, 2023. It is a powerful day. It is a motivating day. Sometimes we have to learn from the mistakes that we've made and the mistakes that others have made so we don't have to walk in the shoes in which they're now in. Being consistent, being aware, being motivated, being helpful. That is the key. So when you think about planting the seeds of subliminal messaging in business, you're going to come across this concept of fear because anything that we're stretching out to do more of, it is unknown what takes place out there. The people that we meet is unknown how they're going to respond, react, um, if they're going to be consistent with what their words are speaking. So discernment and intuitive expression is so vitally important during this time in our lives as we grow and mentor and mature our businesses. Giving people that second chance has a a tinge of um, emotional stability or instability or instability because we really don't know what people are capable of doing. We can only give them that opportunity and that chance. But when they show us who they are, we believe them. So we go in with the sense of, I really, you know, I'll be cool with you, but I don't know you. I'm not going to trust you to that extent until you prove otherwise that you're capable and able to be trusted because I have a lot invested and there's a lot on the line that I have to project, that I have to protect. And so in doing that, sometimes, you know, we got to 
sit back and discern why we're doing what we're doing and how we're doing it. And our dreams are the very best friends to our discernment. So when we have these dreams, I had a, a really weird dream um, based on something that I know I, I do not conceptualize with. So for it to be there, it showed me um, on the positive end because everything is clarity and it's a, a, our subconscious is a mirror to our reality. So I found that it helped me to realize that I am protected intuitively and, and spiritually. And if you're protected at that level, then nothing on the physical plane will be masked. Everything on the physical plane will be shown in plain sight. You'll see things prioritize itself before your eyes. So you'll know what to do because the subliminal messaging and the spiritual intuition of the higher power within us is going to put something there that makes us say, where did that come from? (laughs) And when that happens, what we have to do is be very mindful and figure out why that was there, who manifested that. And the the power of the mind is extremely more, it's more extreme than a person speaking what they really want you to know. It's so much louder if we listen. Absolutely, you must listen to the discernment of your heart. When your heart tells you, no, don't do it that way, do it this way, and you know it's something that you normally don't do, it's not that you question it. You meditate upon it to get more clarity, to get more vision, to get more wisdom about the situation so that you know you're going in the direct path you need to be going into. You know, this is when... When that that, uh, concept of maybe I shouldn't comes in, then you've already lost the battle. So maybe you shouldn't tends to lead to, I'm not sure if I can. And when you're not sure if you can, then why are you even trying? You know, and that's when you have to put that to rest and you have to say that, If I have this fear, I turn it around and I say within my subconscious thought, I am protected. I am going to move into a new level of success and the subconscious is just trying to keep me, uh, you know, back there so that I in turn can recognize that the comfort is what I've told myself I wanted. So in comfort, The last thing we want to do is manipulate and move ourselves out of it and put ourselves in a more uncomfortable state unless we are doing it to grow. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Some of the recording has been uh, edited for um, confidentiality purposes. This is a phone conference that I'm sharing, that I've been uh, approved to share. And this is what business consultation feels like, sounds like. So let's keep going. So when, when we talk about success in being able to be grasped, you're able to see that, you know, through your encouragement and through the way that you offer yourself The other things that you seek to accept are going to obviously be connected to that. So when you have your business, your business plan, your idea, and then something pops in that just doesn't mix. It's like putting red with red, blue with blue, orange with orange, green with green, purple with purple. If you put red with blue, you should know that there's a distinct difference 
in the way that you're categorizing your organization. And it just will not flow correctly until you put the red with the red and the blue with the blue. Okay. Or did I say green with the green? (laughs) But you know what I'm saying, right? So the point is that when you master your organizational structure, um, that's the guideline, that's the grid you use to stay within your square. And as long as you're in that square and you don't deviate from what your business plan has stated for any amount of money that you would feel that you could benefit from, that's when, you know, you're growing in your business. You know, so having these these fearful dreams that you say you've had is um, symbolizing the qualities that you need to activate or acknowledge within your own self. Now, if the fear is there, then you need to acknowledge the fact that you need to work on your fears. What makes this a fearful situation? Is it because you don't know um, if you would be able to do this or that and bring in the right income in order to make successful what it is you want. Well, anything with a passion is going to result in everything being successful about the scenario. Everything is going to be successful. So when you positively even, so when you start to say that you don't know, then now you're deviating from the positive success And then you're moving, okay, always remember being 50%. If you move to the right, you're tilting into the area of positivity. When you move to the left, you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about what happened. You're thinking about what could happen in the future. You're not staying in the present moment. So that's what you need to do. You need to grasp a hold of the now. You need to motivate yourself to say that, yes, I had this dream. It was fearful, but the dream could be clues to how to incorporate and protect myself to make more money. Mm -hmm. And then it also puts into perspective who is around you in your camp. Why are you feeling? So if you have a negative dream, think about the people who called the last couple days. Think about the people and what they're trying or planning or, you know, have insinuated that they want to do around you and your business. And then you just meditate on it because the seeds have been planted and you need to put people in position so you can see it come forward. It's the cycle of life or how things have a tendency of coming full circle. So, you know, people may lie to you. They may, you know, never call you back after they have the first meeting with you. They may think that this is something that they want to do. You may move too fast or too slow. You may, you know, they may want to do it all on their own. They don't know what's involved in that process, right? So the short end of the stick is, you know, what we're not trying to get. We're not. So as your dream progresses forward, it's a clue that you have a literary aptitude. You need to look at something from an entirely different angle or perspective. And I've had that where I've dreamt about you know, not really even dreamt. I went into my dream state from a perspective of fear. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Oh, I wonder who this person is. I'm just not learning them. And that uncomfortable unsurety or insecurity is what focuses strongly on how that relationship is going to build itself. Okay, so we just have to be very mindful and very clear on what it is we do want, you know. It's also about standing up and desiring to stand up among a crowd. You need that power. You need that ammunition. You need to be able to put those words into a position where it's like a a Glock 
or a nine millimeter or a protection source where you can speak into existence the things that you genuinely want in your life and you know you deserve that. It's just like Martin Luther King. I can see him standing in front of the crowd in Montgomery, Alabama, saying he had a dream and not knowing what these people were going to think about him as he's talking. But in this dream, he's seeing it and they're there witnessing it. I don't know if that was the dream itself manifested from what it was he projected for himself. But whatever it was, there was no fear at that moment, at that particular moment. But it's only when we begin to not hold validity to what it is that we're projecting that causes it to be fearful, okay? Um, so yeah, it's, it's significant. The situation also means um, in dreams that we got to confront our emotions and we have to check ourselves and say, because either we have done the right thing or morally, we are feeling that we've done the wrong thing. So if there is a tinge of fear, it is either because of what we think the outcome is going to, or what the present moment may um, present. But remember, the deed is done in the past. What we fear is what the future may hold for the situation. But if we make the action in the present moment, then who cares what it is? That's why we got to be so mindful that every move we make, every step we take is being recorded subconsciously. And it's in the mind state. And that mind state is going to gravitate towards what the future is going to happen. And if it's all fear, then yeah, fear will show up and it will destroy and devour the whole passionate idea. If it is success, if it is um, empowerment, if it is I'm going to do what I need to do no matter who's not doing it, and I'm going to stand up regardless of what, you'll have more success. You'll have definitely more success because what you're doing is putting the relationship and the feeling into question, and you're doing it for humankind you're doing it with a wholesome, compassionate perspective, and you understand the um, the fear that we've placed upon our own subconscious thinking. So I want you to think about this, meditate on this, and empower yourself to know that regardless of what you're doing in this life, it is more intuitive, it is more discerning what is taking place during those quiet moments when you're all alone and you're meditating and you're in the dark and you're breathing and you're with your higher being, you're with the power that motivates you to move, to think, to act, to be, to feel, to have, to want, to desire. And in those stages, that's where the most high will really and truly and genuinely lead you down a path with intuitive perspective that says, this is where it needs to go. Let me help you finish the scenario. And if you think it through from beginning to end and you see yourself cutting the ribbon, you see yourself with a multi-million dollar contract, you see yourself with good people around you, you see yourself with a legacy that you hold morally, financially, and ethically. That's what moves the business to be the ultimate Fortune 500, 5,000, 5 million company that you're trying to grow it to be. So see the end result before you even create the mission statement. Well, you create the mission statement, definitely. And then you see the end result. You dream of the end result, not just one time, not just two, not just three. You see the company cars. I see my company vehicles. I see my my vehicles. I see my individuals moving vehicles um, and helping with, you know, whatever promotional um, expertise we're presenting at that moment in time. And it's successful. 
everyone's happy. Everyone's getting along. Yes, we're dealing with the highs. We're dealing with the lows. We're dealing with personal uh, personality clicks. We're dealing with new staff. We're dealing with new independent contractors. So we're actually making money and we're all happy. And these are the concepts I want you to think about when you're thinking about branding your life. When you think about being the leader of your household, how are you going to even organize the structure of the way you put your cupboard space together, the way you organize your refrigerator, your refrigerator when you go shopping? I think the throat chakra is saying enough is enough. So I'm going to leave this with you tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this has impacted you in some way. So I need you to write your essay. And in the essay, I need you to give me five bulleted points that you received from this podcast. And I need you to share um, at youngstowncenter at gmail.com. Um, If there is something you would like to do in your local community or Scales to Success, LLC, S-C-A-L-E-S-T-O-S-U-C-C-E-S-S, LLC, at gmail.com. If it is global, if it is outside of the city of Youngstown, if there is something that you need as far as business consultation, coaching services, or self motivation, inspiration, or resource um, foundation. We are here to support. As always, be consistent and be on time and be the best person in the shoes you're walking in today because you got this. Peace.